I'm Grant Garcia, one of the orthopedic sports and shoulder surgeons here. Uh, today we're going to show a video testimony of an interesting patient. Um, patient in his 50s, actually ended up having to have two different surgeries on the left shoulder. That was about two years ago. Fell, broke his shoulder, broke part of his socket, and then actually had a pretty large rotator cuff tear. And the options at that time were do we do a shoulder replacement or do a little bit more of a... Um, uh, we call a Hail Mary surgery with a ladder J, which is a bone block procedure and a rotator cuff repair uh, to try to preserve his shoulder joint. We ended up choosing the more uh, challenging portion and he ended up doing very well and you'll see his video testimonial. And then came back to me almost a year later and did something similar on the other side, but with a few other issues that we could not do the similar surgery. So we ended up having to do a shoulder replacement and he ended up having a very similar good outcome. And hopefully you'll see his video testimonial and learn a little bit about what we did and how he felt about the whole process. Thanks. When I saw the doctor who was a specialist that I wanted to see here, he told me that my shoulder was damaged and that he couldn't fix it. And all of a sudden I just had this, oh no, I have to start all over looking for someone again. And he saved the day and told me, but we've got a specialist, a new kid in town and he can fix it. Would you like to meet him? And I did and that's how I came to meet Dr. Garcia. <laughs> and the shoulder damage took a couple of visits and I had pieces of my shoulder cuff in a couple of zip codes on my back and it was going to be a pretty intense uh, surgery consultant with a couple of specialists and I'm good to go <laughs> a year later I come back and I have surgery on my right shoulder and eventually I took another trip and fell and dislocated my shoulder and chipped the cuff off my right shoulder and I had to have a shoulder replacement surgery, complete total shoulder. Replacement. After the surgery, I waited about six weeks and had my first follow-up visit with Dr. Garcia. And what I found was that I got x-rayed a couple of times afterwards and that was just to ensure the surgeries were healing properly and going and going the right way that he wanted to. As far as the visits went, I felt better every time I came here because my therapy that I had kind of coincided with me healing and that felt really good. Through the entire process with both operations, I felt no pain after surgery and during therapy. My thoughts about both surgeries are that I'm a lot better off having my surgeries done here. I've always been a patient here, I hate to admit that. I've been a patient for about 43 years <laughs> with pro-line surgeries. They have always been my A-team. They are the guys that have always Take a look at my broken ankle, my broken knee, my twisted shoulder, my twisted ankle, my uh, messed up elbow. And I tell you, this is the only place I would come have it done. I've referred a lot of my friends here over the years to come have their surgeries here. I told them this is the place that you want to have your surgery done. These guys are the A team as far as orthopedic surgeons go in the Seattle area. My expectations were very good here at Seattle Ortho Clinic and pro-line surgeons. Uh, my expectations were heading into a massive surgery in here. I felt a lot better afterwards because I had movement and had no impediment. And the surgeries went very well. Both times I knew I was gonna have a major surgery, but I felt better every time due to just the confidence I have in Dr. Garcia and the number of surgeries he had. I've also had friends that have had these done by other doctors and they had problems, but I would rest assured that I would have no problems with Dr. Garcia. And you know what? I haven't because I have complete movement <laughs> in my shoulders <laughs> and I feel great.